An early stage startup founder recently asked me to sign an NDA for a pitch deck review. Frankly, asking to sign an NDA before sharing your deck is like withholding your idea from someone out of fear that they might steal it. In this video, I will give you three important lessons regarding this incident. Plus, I'll share the right approach so that you don't waste your time on additional and unnecessary activities and move faster while looking for a feedback. First, let's understand that a pitch deck is a public document. You will be circulating this document across various investors, especially during your first or second round of funding. In fact, you'll be uploading your deck on multiple platforms, submitting it to competitions and applying for acceleration and incubation programs via this document. When you do it, you'll realize that no investor, accelerator or incubator will sign an NDA with you just to receive a copy of your pitch deck. Why you ask? This brings me to my second point, which is additional liability. No investor will sign an NDA for such an early stage company as it brings in too much of liability on them. No one wants to get into the legality for just talking to someone. Imagine being an investor who talks to thousands of startups every year. So what's the solution? The solution is simple. Like I said before, treat your deck like a public document. Don't include any secretive data in your pitch deck. If you want, you can even choose to skip financials and other data points that you don't want to share in the first meeting or before the first meeting. Focus on story, background, vision, and proof of concept. Remember that your pitch deck should be built in a way that it covers the broad aspects of your business that can intrigue an investor to talk to you further. Please remember that your deck will not get you funded, but it will help you to get the first meeting, after which the investment conversation will start. By the way, if you've reached the advanced stages and you have to share some data list or some vendor list or some financial data there, then maybe you can request and get an NDA signed. Third and the last point, and it is very, very important. Stop taking advice from everyone. This is a common trait for the first time founders that they would reach out to random people to take advice. I believe that as a founder, you should find people who can really help you and give you experiential feedback. Someone who has been there and done that, or maybe a subject matter expert. But asking to sign an NDA just for the advice means that you don't trust the person. And if that's the case, why should someone even sign a document for you for the feedback that you want? Plus, getting an NDA signed will take time and will make the process unnecessarily complex. As a founder, especially in early stages, don't create unnecessary frictions and try to keep your life simpler. If you want advice or feedback, go get it. Don't make the process complicated. If you agree with me on this, or have some additional suggestions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope that you found this video valuable. If so, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.